Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, normally I would say like, Ayo, it's the girl wider than Mayo here, but I feel like it's pretty windy and you guys can't hear me too well, so I'm going to get into this smoky eye flirty tutorial. So to start off, I am breaking out the flower perf perfecting primer. I almost got it memorized. And I'm just going to use this all over my face. I love this primer. I'm not sponsored, but flower, if you want to hit a girl up, I would love to work with you guys. I love their primer more than like almost any primer. I say almost because like I have been a freaking lover for years. And if you guys know, like I obsess with our candy and their primers are the best. So far, I have found. So it is like windy, and I'm so sorry. But now I'm going in with my little mix. I actually made this myself. It isn't a Kat Von D package, but it is not Kat Von D. It is the flower. No, nope, it's the Fenty Beauty in shade 160 mixed with the Almay Skin Perfecting Foundation, and it comes out to my perfect shade whenever I mix the two. And I know you guys. Don't ever use your hands, but all of my brushes are so gross. And this look, like, I actually think that turned out pretty well. Turned out. If you guys can tell, I'm exhausted. It's like my first day off in a minute. My hair is going to stick to my face. But it is my first day off in like a pretty good minute. I'm gonna find a brush that will work. So yeah, I'm just gonna use this brush. I normally just use it for powder, but it should work. We gonna find out. Believe it or not, I think my hand blended in this side better than this brush is. But I cannot get mad because this is a balm brush for like powders and stuff, what it's meant for. So my boyfriend's at work today and I'm not at work today and we work the same place so it's pretty weird. But now I'm just like home, like what do I do? And I was like, I'm gonna record a few videos and I prepped pretty amazingly. If you follow me on Instagram, you get to like see all the behind the scenes for my videos. Blah, blah, blah. You get to see all the behind the scenes like things for my videos and find out like how much effort and work I actually do put into my videos because most of the time I'm just like that. Um, most of the time I just figure that I can pull the video together while I'm doing it. And here recently I figured out that if I plan it, it's so much better. And I know that's logic, but I kind of have been making videos since like 2013. I say kind of because I have two old channels and if you find them, I'll cry. But <laughs> they, um, they were like my tester channels and I was pretty young and I wasn't into like makeup at the time. So I never really thought about doing it. But now that I look back, I really wish I would have just because like the people that I was on the same level with back then if I would have stuck to it and like actually worked my ass off that time I think I would probably have a like already bigger outreach already like better quality like camera better quality editing like I feel like I would have it in the bag but I did go back and look at those videos here recently and they are traumatizing <laughs> like full blown traumatic. I was supposed to have everything prepped and I knew I was gonna forget something, you guys. And it's my freaking powder foundation. I don't even know where it's at. Ah. 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 This is like the scary part of makeup. Whenever you forget something. I found one. The Maybelline fit me. Loose finishing powder in the color Fair. 
I always forget how powdery this is, and I'm just gonna go on the same brush because I mean it's what it's meant for, and it's not too dirty. That's just the powder. I always try to set under my eyes before everything else because like there's so many wrinkles there, like your girl shook. Shakes you guys. I love the feeling of like setting your foundation all at once like that. I feel like it's probably not good for you, but it just feels so nice. I am not a professional. I do not want you guys to ever think I am. And on the cool half the time when I'm doing makeup, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I hope that I figure it out, which normally works. <laughs> So now I'm going to close this because if not, it's already getting everywhere. <laughs> and I'm going to go in with this beautiful brush that my mom got me. It is like this little mermaid brush and it's so freaking cute. Like I don't even, I didn't even know she was getting it for me. Getting it for me and she called me the other day and she was like, I got you a brush, you need to come get it, it's so pretty. So like thank you to my mom because this is the cutest brush in the world. And it's like angled and it's so cute. I look like a demon just then. So now we're going to do the brows, and I just use the e.l.f. brow duo in dark, because, you know, I ain't got no brows. They gone. I don't know how to, like, show you guys how I do my brows, so I'm going to try my darndest. Imagine if brows were done like this. Now I normally just try to shape out some brow shapes and most of the time they go out unevenly because like this one's lower than this one but... Someone's car alarm is going off. So they're not the best. Those are just some simple brows to go with this look for today because my main focus on this look is the eyes. I'm not too mad at these brows though. They're not that bad. And in like my brows defense, I'm shitty at eyebrows. So now we're gonna move on to the main thing which is the eyes. And for this, I'm going to be using two separate palettes. And sadly, I have no idea where you guys can get these palettes because this one was a gift from my mom's husband is just this beautiful little palette it's got two blushes and it does come apart so fast but it's got two blushes and all these beautiful eyeshadows so i'm going to be taking because this is going to be a darker looking smoky eye i'm going to grab this little piece of the palette i love this though because like they come out and i can work with that so much easier i'm going to take this shade right here and this shade and blend them into the outer corners of my eyes with a clean, fluffy, blending brush. I got this one in an Amazon thing, so I'm just going to get a little bit of that, get a little bit of that, and blend. <laughs> it was so weird. I'm so sorry you guys have to, like, endure this.
and this palette everything in it is glittery so that is just something that like I have accepted in this world that is like one of the reasons my glitter game has been stepping up Now you're going to just seriously blend for your life. A blend for your life. So now that that one is blended out, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side with those same two colors. Unfortunately, Instagram has stopped. Okay, Instagram, I guess. So now that that part is done, I'll be grabbing this same brush, cleaning it up a little bit, and I'm grabbing the e.l.f. light beige concealer to just kind of in the center of the eyes you guys will understand as you see so just set it there grab that brush and use it to just lighten up that spot a little bit Yep, this is kind of talent. <laughs> Not really, this kind of burns, but I'm joking. The only thing that burns is holding one eye open while one eye is shut. Have you guys ever experienced that? Like, the weird fucking sensation? So, I'm so sorry about my language, by the way, guys. I do not have a sensor, ever. I'm so sorry. I love you guys to death, but damn. So, now I'm going to be using this. This is like a little different palette than what the two I'm going to be using mainly. The Jewels True Blend, True Naked CoverGirl palette. And I'm just going to use this third shade here for that spot that we just used concealer on. And now for my literal favorite part, like the only part I really wanted to do in this video for. This um, is Profusion. <coughs> oh, I'm sneezing. Okay, so this is the Profusion um, palette. It is their Shimmer Tin Shadow Eye Palette. I don't know where you can get this. I have no idea where I got this. I think it was my sister's, but... Here recently on my Instagram, I cleaned all of my palettes, so this one is clean, and I'm going to be using that silver gray for the outer corner of today's smoky eye. So going in with the smoky eye brush from my giveaway that is currently still going on, I will be dipping into the silvery gray pigment and blending that on the outer corner. Oh yes, queen. <laughs> we love ourselves a shimmery queen. I feel like a lot of people think that's on you that that's overused for a quote, but I love that quote. Like we love a blank, you know. Like we love a good shimmer queen. Yes, we do. Oh, it's in my eyes. It's okay. <laughs> I have survived. So now I'm going to be going in with the eyeliner palette, with the eyeliner brush that comes in the giveaway I have currently going on. 
and they're, your, they're black glitter at the very bottom. I cannot talk today. And using that to kind of pre-line my eyes on the top and the bottom. And now I will be using the e.l.f. liquid liner pen in the color black for my wings. Just got the pen out. Oh, my grandpa. Hello, grandpa. On the cool, that's probably the worst wing I've ever done on this side, but moving on from that. Now I will be using the e.l.f. Active Sweat Resistant Mascara. I love this. I'm not sponsored by e.l.f., but if e.l.f. wants to hit a girl up, I'm here. Because, like, straight up, that just made my, brow my eyelashes go from where's her lashes to their fucking pop. Ba -ba bam I don't know why I really want to say ba -ba bam so now I'm going to put a little contour on my face and I'm using the makeover essentials contour kit it's broke it's so old you guys have no idea I clean this palette as well believe it or not um, it does not look clean but it is so I'm going in with this little highlighting brush it's the Luxie 522 ta ta tapered highlight for my contour because I just love the way it works for contouring, I know. Like, it's kind of amazing. <laughs> you can hear, like, my boyfriend's sister just came home and all of her dogs are losing their shit. They're like, oh my god, you're home. So now I will be using the Revlon Photo Ready Galaxy Dream Highlighting Palette. And I love this fucking palette. But I will be using the blue because I just it gives me a moony vibe. And I'm using the other side of the brush. Like, oh, I'm cool though. That's kind of popping. Like, okay. Oh my god. I have played a lot more than I thought, but on the call I kind of love it, so I'm not that mad. It really pops though on my face, like crazy. Like, I cannot be the only one seeing this. It is popping like fucking crazy. <laughs> so now for my lips, I will be using... Where's my lipstick? <laughs> Do you ever have that moment of, where the fuck is my lipstick? Daily. That moment when you thought you prepped for everything. 
So I will be using, and I literally, first thing out of my bag, the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit in Goth Topic. <laughs> what it's called, and it's so pretty. On the cool, I kind of forgot I had this lipstick. Pigment bounce. So like I can't tell if it's like patchy or if it just hasn't fully dried yet. But I mean, hey, we love a good goth queen. That's what I feel like, right? I feel like I am rocking these goth vibes. Like, what? Okay, so that is my smoky, glittery goth eye for the day. I love you guys. I'm recording this video and the next two or three videos all today. So if you can tell that like, I had the same shirt on. It's the portal gun, by the way. Stupid Rick and Morty fan. Like, I've been binging it. Anyway, I love you guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're looking forward to more makeup tutorials in the future. Also, be sure to check out the next few videos I upload, the next, the past few I've uploaded, and enter the giveaway if you haven't yet. I love you guys so much. Bye!